Well, I think I broke something. What am I going to do about it? Hmm. Hello, I thought this could be an interesting case. Uh, sometimes you replace the screen or phone and then something happens. I found something after I started to assemble the Galaxy A52s. And let me show you what it is. What is it? It is that. It's a light sensor. How in the hell does this came here on the bench? Well, the light sensor is connected here. Show you that. So here you have that small hole. So on the main board and yeah, when you put it on your ear, it shuts off. When you go in a brighter environment, the screen gets brighter or in a dimmer environment, the screen gets dimmer. And yeah, sometimes that happened. I was very carefully. I don't know how this happened. Maybe because of the drop damage. There was a drop damage on this phone here on this side. So there's a possibility that this was already half off and yeah, but we got to fix it because we want, don't want the customer to come back or yeah, shouldn't be a big deal. So let's see if we can put that back on the main board, which belongs here. Let me show you that. Oh, now let's put it in the, so this board comes here inside. And here we have that sensor, but it's not there anymore. So, okay. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six missing pads, but they do not look like you have a connection. Sometimes you have a pin in the center, small dot where you know there's a trace coming through, but that's not the case here. So we should be lucky. And we also have a board view which is better than just guessing. Of course, well, of course we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pads. Let me check that. Yeah, but we do only have six ripped pads. So one on the lower light here, the lower right is still there, but it's not needed. So we're lucky, no trace repair. We just got a clinic and put it back on with hot air. Should be a little bit careful with the temperatures. So let's go. Switch the screen, the scene. Good. First, we're going to prepare the pads. Gonna add some low lower solder melts. Lower solder, lower solder melt. What does that mean? Some dirt. We have some dirt. Get rid of the dirt. So pads are prepared on this side. Now we get our small little part. Let's see if we can put that somewhere without losing it. It's gone, it's gone. I mean, we would probably find something, but Okay, fits perfectly here in the side, so now we got to prepare this. Does that look good? Is that good enough? I think it is. Okay, again, a little bit of flux.
Get rid of that stuff we do not need. Pieces of choppa. Good. Okay, we'll make that all nice and shiner. I'm going to clean that because we have enough of solder on the, the board itself. So we don't need much here. We're almost nothing. We won't, don't want it to, yeah. So we're going to make that flat. Good. That should be good enough. Good. Don't blow it away. Do not blow it away. Oh, and now? What was the right direction? I don't know. Do you know? You watched the video, I'm sure you know. I'm such a fool. I am such a fool. But as I remember, the raw with the pads was here below. So, let's, I could look back the video. Good thing that we recorded it. Um, but in this case, I know what's up. So let me make a mark here. Just that we do not forget. So this is the one side with the No connection, which is on the button of the board. So, where is it? Here, on the downside. Good. So, everything is here nice, clean, and prepared. I'm going to zoom out a bit, and I'm going to add some chopper to the sim tray, because I do not want to burn it. <clears throat> Good. Now we're actually ready to go. We gotta set the temperature. I think we don't need more than 300. Mm. Let's say 320. Very low air. We do not want to blow. I'm going for eight air only. That should be enough. And we do not want to blow it into another dimension. So as you can see here, this belongs. This. Let's check back. Yes. That's how that belongs. Okay. Can focus on anything, but let's focus on the board. Um yeah, and go. Let's go. Too much air. Nothing's gonna happen here. Let's go to 13 air. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna heat up board. And then I'm gonna lay it down. Bad idea, I think we need more temperature. 
350. Let's go for 350. Can take my time. This temperature we ain't gonna destroy anything. Okay, now we're gonna watch it melt. Put it down with my shaking hand. I should have used my palm rest. But I think we're looking very good. That's it. Let's clean it. And now we're going to look at the side and see if the connection is good. And then we're going to put it back together. I'm not going to test it because I know it's going to be okay. 350C, this fast. We only did put a little bit of a few seconds on the sensor itself. They're not that fragile, but I will be careful with temperatures. Okay, let's have a look on this, at the side. Good, awesome, very nice connection. Let's look on the other side. Here we have our one connection on the left, also very nice. And third side. The last one and the first, also very nice. Oh, and then the last side. Zoom a bit out. Awesome. Okay, that is beautiful. And we're gonna add some extra glue because I do not want this to come off. And the problem is we do not have a lot of space, so. As you may remember, we have a I'll show you that here. We have here a tiny little hole where that sensor comes in. So what's the difference between the hole and the sensor? So as you can see there's not much room. We have I would say a bridge. I could make a bridge one millimeter around. And for that I'm going to use epoxy because if you lift it up, touch it, it's very fragile. I'm sure it would come off again and we don't want it to come off again. So <clears throat> let's use a bit of epoxy to cure this. That aside. Oh, it's getting empty. Gotta order one before it's too late. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gotta mix it. Schmutz. Till it gets a bit milky. Okay, that's enough. To the microscope. Make sure it is pretty clean. Now we're gonna add just a little bit to the side. Good. Now we gotta push that down where we need it. Good. Now we have the complete roundabout. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's how it looks like. So, all around. And that's it. Now we're going to leave it there for about 10 minutes. Of course, you can turn it on, test it. That's what I suggest. I'm not going to do that here. It's not if it works, it's how does it work? It's not, uh, it's not the goal. It's the way to the goal. Okay. So I'm going to leave it for drying just a little bit, not too long, and then I'm going to put it back together, test it and see if everything is good. So light sensor, proximity sensor um, broken off on a Galaxy A52s. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Okay, you're not believe me that it works. You're not believing me that this works. Check out 50% light. And we're going on. Let's do the, the, let's try the opposite. And we're going down. And if I let go, it goes up again.